Okay. Uh, so thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm Wen Yin, a postdoc at the University of Tokyo. Uh, I will be talking about the paper uh, with title, What if a black matter for the zero uh, one to excess is the infraton? So basically, I will be talking about axion dark matter explanation of the zero one to excess. And this dark matter is also the infraton. Okay, recently, Zeno Wanton collaboration has reported an excess in the electron recoil data. Uh, although a tritium explanation is not completely excluded, it is, I believe it is worth studying the explanations by BSM physics. Among various possibilities, I want to focus on KB dark matter absorption, especially R dark matter absorption because the scenario is quite simple. Uh, recently, the Zenon Wanton collaboration updated their paper uh, and showed that the bosonic dark matter absorption is favored over the background only at the, the three sigma level. Uh, in particular, for an alpha dark matter explanation, uh, the favor region is like this. The mass is around 2.3 kb, the coupling to electron is around three times 10 to minus 14. Here, this QE is the Pacheco charge of the uh, electron. ME, the mass of the electron. FY is the decay constant of the ARP. For example, when the QE is around 0 0.1 to 1, the decay constant is favored to be around 10 to 9 to 10 to 10 GB. Uh, since the ARP dark matter couples to electron, a photon coupling is induced via the electron loop in the effective theory. The photon coupling should be suppressed to evade X-ray bound in indirect detection experiment. Uh, to this end, we are led to consider the anomaly-free ARP. In this case, in the effective theory at the KB scale, the Dimensional five photon coupling should be uh, vanishing due to the anomaly free condition. Uh, the coupling to photon uh, comes from the uh, dimensional seven term. So we get a suppressed decay rate due to uh, the you know, suppression of this uh, power by this power. Uh, therefore, uh, this scenario is consistent with the X-ray observation. And also, due to this decay rate, we have a robust prediction on X-ray line signal. Interestingly, the dark matter abundance can be naturally explained via misalignment mechanism without tuning. Uh, the parameter set actually the the favor i mean the uh, parameter range is close to the zero cooling hint and we can get better agreement when the alpha abundance is slightly uh, smaller than the uh, observed dark matter abundance uh, the main question of today's talk is why the mass is around kb the decay constant is around 10 to 9 to 10 to 10 gb uh, I will be talking about the ARP inflation. And I show that there is a, uh, I will show that there is a relation between the mass and the decay constant predicted by the ARP inflation. And this uh, relation shown in this figure is consistent with the uh, mass and decay constant suggested by the uh, zeno wanton excess in this uh, pink region. So uh, in the following of the, this talk, I will discuss in detail about this coincidence. Now let me talk about accident inflation. You know, inflation is important uh, to drive 
So low inflation, we need an uh, inflaton. This inflaton should have a potential with a very flat direction. This direction, I mean flat direction, should be stable under the radiative corrections. To suppress the dangerous radiative correction, uh, I would like to consider that the inflaton is an axiom which enjoys a discrete shift symmetry defined like this. Then the potential is a periodic function of the uh, inflaton. So the potential can be expanded by cosine terms. A well-known realization of the axial inflation is the natural inflation. In this case, the potential is represented by a single cosine term. However, to satisfy the slow low condition, we need a super Planckian decay constant, which may be in tension with quantum gravity. Also, this scenario is disfavored from the CMB observation due to the uh, too large tensor to scalar ratio. To be consistent with the quantum gravity and CME data, let us consider the axiom potential with two or more cosine terms. This is the so-called March natural inflation. In March natural inflation, CME data can be well explained with sub Planckian decay constant. For simplicity, let's consider the potential composed by two cosine terms. Compare with the, the natural inflation case, we have a few more parameters. The theta is uh, the relative phase between two cosine terms. Kappa is a relative height. Here n is an integer greater than one, uh, which characterize the Fourier mode of the second cosine term. Throughout today's talk, let me assume that this n is odd and kappa around one, theta around zero. Then the potential has a flat hilltop where the slow low can take place. Uh, so to derive the uh, mass decay constant relation, we basically have three important points. Uh, the first point is that at the Banisian limit, of the relative height and relative phase, namely kappa equal one, theta equal zero, we have a quotic hilltop inflation. Then to satisfy the CMB normalization, the quotic coupling should be around 10 to minus 12. So this means given the decay constant, the potential height or inflation scale is fixed. Uh, it is known that the quotic hilltop inflation predicts a too small spectral index to explain the CME data. Uh, in our scenario, uh, we can have a small and but non-banishing uh, theta and kappa minus one to enhance the spectral index. In any case, uh, to have a consistent spectral index, the curvature at the hue top should be around the Hubble parameter. So given the height of the potential, the curvature at the top is fixed. fixed. When n is odd, we have an upside down symmetry. Uh, namely, the potential has completely the same shape between the, the potential maximum and minimum. So uh, the, to explain, the spectral index, not only the curvature around maximum, but also the minimum is of all the, the Hubble parameter. Therefore, uh, the, we get a relation between the mass and decay constant. More precisely, by performing a numerical simulation, we get the prediction in this figure in you know, mass and the decay constant plane, so this green. Them. And this overlaps with the suggested lesion by the xenomantal axis. Let me briefly introduce the cosmology, including the uh, dark matter production. 
An important prediction of the scenario is the inflation scale. So from the spectral index and upside down symmetry, and from the, the mass around KB, we can get that the Hubble parameter during inflation around KB. Then the inflation scale or the height of potential is around 10 to 6 GB. Uh, in this parameter set and in this model, the reheating can be successful. And when the reheating is successful, the reheating should be instantaneous. Uh, the reheating process is efficient due to the large uh, effective mass just, just after inflation and the scattering effect. The scattering effect can be represented by this diagram uh, when the inflaton couples to the uh, fermions. So inflaton condensate scattered with the thermal plasma produce the uh, thermal model fermions like this. Then this, when this process is efficient, the inflation, I mean, the reheating is, uh, can be soon, uh, can be successful soon after the inflation and the reheating temperature is around 10 to 6 GB. Uh, since this diagram also contributes to the uh, uh, thermalization of the inflaton, so the thermal plasma scattered with thermal plasma produce the inflaton. So therefore, uh, if the, the, the heating is successful, the inflaton is thermalized. We consider this thermalized inflaton remain until today, which contributes to warm dark matter. So this warm dark matter may be the potential source of the xenon one tone X. I have to emphasize that uh, we need a mild entropy production uh, to dilute the, the thermalized inflaton, otherwise the, it is too much. To have such entropy dilution, uh, we may consider the right hand inflation decay at lake, lake epoch or thermal inflation by a B minus L Higgs. So this is the parameter region uh, of this scenario by assuming the inflaton is the dominant dark matter. Horizontal axis is the mass of inflaton, vertical axis is the coupling to electron. This gray region is excluded uh, due to the uh, cooling argument of the uh, tip of the left giant star. This blue region is excluded by the, the uh, observation of the X-ray. This green band represents the prediction of the arc inflation. Here we take the sample body of the PQ charge 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 1. This black dot uh, represents the, uh, I mean, on this black point, we can explain the xenon one tone excess. So when the inflaton is the dominant dark matter, and when the QE around the say uh, 0 0.2, we can explain the excess. Uh, if we take the, uh, if we decrease abundance of the inflaton, we found this favorable region for the excess goes up. This is because uh, with smaller number density, we need to increase the coupling to electron to, to have the enough event rate. And also, uh, the the bound from X-ray goes up because you know when the number density is smaller, we have weaker constraint. But uh, the constraint uh, from the uh, star cooling do not change because they do not care whether the uh, actually dark matter or not. So from these two figures, we can find that they don't one to excess indicates the abundance of the uh, inflaton uh, should be within 0 0.01 to one times the dominant dark matter. And the coupling, I mean the PQ charge of the electron is from 0 0.1 to one. Okay, this is the end of my talk. Uh, in this talk, uh, I have tried to answer the question why the mass of the arbitrary around KB and decay constant around 10 to 9 to uh, 10 to 10 GB needed to explain the excess. Uh, 
we found that in the R field of inflation with upside down symmetry, given the mass around KB, the decay constant is predicted to be around uh, uh, 10 to 9 to 10 to 10 GB. So this is consistent with the, uh, the, the region for the uh, Zenomanton axis. We discussed various implications on cosmology, in particular, uh, the Hubble parameter during inflation is predicted to be around KB. Then the next question is why the mass is around KB or the Hubble parameter is around KB. Uh, with Xu Ho, who, is, who will be a postdoc in Kias in Korea, and Fumi, uh, I show that in axibars with many axions, the Hubble parameter around KB may be the maximum value to solve the modular problem. Thank you very much.